Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marissa Bailey. Rescue workers are scrambling to find survivors after a volcano eruption in Guatemala killed at least 25 people. CBS 2's Kenneth Craig reports for more than 3,000 people have now been forced from their homes. The massive volcano eruption about 30 miles from Guatemala City sent ash high into the air and hot molten lava spewing into villages. People ran for their lives, but not everyone made it. This lady believes some of her family members are buried. Rescue teams are frantically searching for victims and working to reach communities covered in lava and mud. Survivors, some pulled from the ash, were rushed to hospitals. A still undetermined number of people are unaccounted for. AP correspondent Sonia Perez is in one of the hardest hit areas. The firemen say they still hear people screaming, but they can go to help them because the mood is blocking the road. More than 3,000 people were evacuated after the second explosion this year from the so-called volcano of fire. Kenneth Craig, CBS 2 News. And meteorologist Megan Glaros is here with a look at your forecast. Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Megan Glaros back from vacation, except our weather feels like vacation here in Chicagoland today. Anyway, we've got 78 degrees for the high temperature. Beautiful, a good amount of sunshine, just a touch of cloud cover out there. 74 degrees on your Tuesday, partly sunny sky, so a little bit cooler tomorrow. We're going for 80 and sunny on Wednesday, 83 and sunny on Thursday and staying in that nice warm temperature range with lots of sunshine pretty much all the way through the week. So one little period of rain chances and it's only 20% tonight overnight while you're sleeping through about lunchtime tomorrow. But again, 20%. So most of you stay dry. Enjoy this beautiful weather, guys. See ya.